Hi guys, welcome back to shop. Today I've got a threading problem that I'm going to work on. Uh, I've got a cylinder I picked up that uh, the intake manifold bolts had been changed to uh, imperial threads and they're they're really loose anyway. So today we're going to drill them out and put helicoils in there and hopefully that will fix the issue. But right now I went through and I I tapped them back to eight millimeter and they're just so loose they're never going to hold. So before I put it on something I'm going to fix it. So I'll get you over here on the uh, milling machine. Okay I've got it set up over here in the mill and I've got it on an angle plate. Uh, this angle is approximately 15 degrees so I I've got to have that set so that uh, I can get some reasonable accuracy here. And this is, uh, like I say, I've chased these threads back to 8 millimeter, but this is what we end up with. And I believe the other one's even worse than that. So it, it might hold for a little while, but it wouldn't hold for very long. Yeah. So, in order to fix that, I've set it up on here, it's about 15 degrees, and I've set this up so that my spindle, I can put a piece of paper under it here, I don't want the sticky part, and I can't pull it out there, can't pull it out there, nor there, nor the front. So I'm reasonably straight with the cylinder. So now what I've got to do is uh, line it up, uh, line the hole up. I've got to get my chuck on here and then we'll line it up with the hole itself then drill it. Okay, we've got it lined up here pretty good and just taking the biggest drill that I can get that will fit in there. And that's what that's how we're gonna start this. So let me get the the drill out that I'm gonna use for the helicoil. It's actually a little bit bigger for each uh, each helicoil set. You're gonna have a this is gonna be a helicoil size. Then we're gonna tap it, then put the helicoil back or in it, and then it's gonna be back to the original size that it was. We've got it. Got the uh, the drill in here for the helicoil. So that's where we're going next. Oops, I've got to turn my power on. Okay, it'll probably work better now. Okay, we're going to a depth of about uh, 0.70. That's uh, I've got it marked here on the on the drill bit. And I've also got it set up on my DRO here, so I don't go too deep. Take a look at what we're doing. Everything's okay. So we're there. Now I'm going to get my tap set up. Okay, I've got the tap in here. I'm just going to use it to start so that I can stay straight. Uh, so let me, uh, let me 
clean the filings out of there first. And like I said, we're just going to start this. It'll slip in the in the collet. A little tap magic on it. Get our tap handle on. This is the bottom of it. I'm going to go over and get the other hole started. So we'll move that over. We don't need to be lined up under the machine to, to, uh, to put the helo coil in. But I do need to find my drill bit. I think I've got to change my chuck out again. Call it, I guess. All right. So, got to change out to the other collet. Actually, I can't remember. Maybe I can get the drill bit in that one. No, I'm going to have to change that one out. And then we break the little tang off in the bottom with the tang break off tool. Comes right off. Of course it's kind of stuck in there. Right there. See that's the tang that broke off. That's what hooks on the tool so that it can be installed. So we're good there. Let's get the other one in. Alright, get our next one installed on the tool. Again, you can see how it's got, it's got the tang captured there. Okay guys, I think we've got her licked here. A lot better, a lot better. All right. Trying to get some light there. There's a 
or brand new threads. So those be those are actually better than the original um, aluminum threads. These will hold a lot better. So we fixed another one. just show you again a little bit of our setup because uh, we are at an angle uh, we've got an angle plate and a uh, angle table so we can one so we can hold it and the other one so we can get our angle right Okay guys, if you do a lot of this work like this, this is uh, probably a tool you're eventually going to see or you're going to go to a machine shop and that's what they're going to use. Uh, they, it includes a drill bit to drill an oversized hole, then a tap to tap the oversized hole to fit the, uh, the new insert. And you've got different lengths of them. Uh, I'm getting low on these. Those are the ones I use the most of. Uh, you also have the installation tool. I showed you how that hooked with the tang. And then this is the tang break off tool. You just whack it with a hammer and it'll knock that little tang right off of there. Okay guys, there you have it. Uh, another repair. I'm uh, not sure what I'm going to use this cylinder on yet. This is a uh, uh, early 69 to probably 71 uh, Yamaha MX cylinder. And they're kind of hard to find these days. I was able to find one, so uh, I just wanted to make sure it was going to work for me. But anyhow, uh, this, uh, this type of uh, repair is very common. Uh, on these old bikes. I think I've showed one or two of these before. Uh, maybe not on a cylinder, but other helicoils. And it's just a, you just drill a hole oversize, tap it oversize, put the insert in, and it's exactly the same. Uh, in this case, it was an eight millimeter uh, one, two, five hole or uh, thread. And that's what it is now too. What, I, what they had done previously was something that all of us did back in the day, and that was uh, on an 8 millimeter. we, we uh, used a tap and tapped it out to 5 sixteenths or 3 eighths or whatever we could the next size. Anyhow, it's not the right thing to do. Uh, it got us by in the day, but we don't do that anymore. So thanks for going along on the ride, and we'll see you next video.